Greetings everyone, Bruno Luce here from GLB Productions. This is just a quick video. I had a request from one of my subscribers asking how to change the frequencies on a Sennheiser Evolution 100 transmitter and receiver combination. His issue was that the frequencies available on his transmitter were not the same as those available on his receiver. So as you can see here, when you get the receiver, uh, each receiver will have usually four frequencies available. So you can see with this one, we have 519.6, 525.525, 525, 521.550, and 522.725. Um, his problem was that his receivers and transmitters did not match, so the four available on his transmitter were not the same as the four available on his receiver. So what do you do in a situation like this? Well, follow along and I'll show you how to work around this issue. The first thing that you have to ascertain is that your transmitter and receiver are both set to the same frequency range. Now, this is something which is preset at the factory and it is not something that the end user can change. Now, if you buy the transmitter and receiver as a match set, this frequency range will always be the same. But if you're patching together a collection, some from you, some from a friend, or if you get given a whole bunch, you need to check that you have matching sets. Now, on the back of the transmitter, if you see, there will be this plate here. And if you look carefully, it's a bit hard to see, but if you see the second line of text, it says frequency range 518 to 550 MHz. On the back of the transmitter, you will notice that there will be a section. Now, on this one, it's really old and faded, but if I hold it steady, you can see it says there 5182550 megahertz. So what that means is that this transmitter and this receiver are a matched set. Now, if they are not matched, there's nothing that you can do about that. You, you either have to return them to Sennheiser for reprogramming or you have to go and try and find, buy, beg, borrow, another set that is matched. This issue should not come up in normal use. It usually only comes up if you are trying to work with transmitter receiver combinations that were purchased in different countries. So for example, if you have a receiver that was purchased in the US and a transmitter that was purchased in Singapore, they may not be set to the same frequency range, usually because each local or national jurisdiction will determine what frequency range is available. So that's the first thing that you need to check. If they're not matched, you can't go any further with this process. I'll first demonstrate how to reprogram the receiver to a different frequency that is not one of the presets. To begin with, we have 520.525. The next preset frequency is 521.550. Now, let's say that you need 520.800. How do you program that? Press set until you reach tune, let it be. Now you can use the up and down buttons to adjust the frequency, as you can see there. And you just nudge it, it will go up in increments until you reach 520.800 and then you press set to confirm. And you'll notice that now this is one of your new pre-programmed frequencies. It's important to note that each receiver can only store four presets. So you'll notice that our old preset 520.525 is now gone. All right. The next one available is 521.550 and then the other two that we knew were in there. All right. So be a little bit careful when you do this check with whoever owns the system or whoever runs the wireless in your area that you are not um, inadvertently confusing somebody when you change their frequencies. I'll now demonstrate how to reprogram the transmitter. It's the same thing. Once it's on, say you need to reprogram this to 520.800. 
what you would do is you would press set until it reaches tune and then you would use the up and down nudge buttons to change the frequency right pressing until you reach 520.800 and then press set to confirm now as you can see now the old frequency is gone and 520.800 has replaced that frequency so that's all for this video everyone as you can see I've been a good boy and set the transmitters and receivers back to the original frequency remember do not change these frequencies without consulting the owner of the system thanks a lot for watching this is Bruno Luce from GLB productions have a nice day see you next time bye bye